I finally get to do one of these the truth about something videos. Because uh, I've been running the numbers and I have some not so good news about saving money with your solar system. If you're building a solar system for your home that's not grid tied, that's just a normal array of panels, batteries, and inverters, then you need to make sure that your expectations match your reality. A grid tied system sells power back to the grid and that helps recoup the cost. DIY systems generally don't. Portable power station systems generally don't. There's an install cost that can only be made up by reducing the power you use from the grid. How long will it take to recoup that equipment and install cost? Spoiler, longer than you want. Maybe never. So what do I mean? The average cost of one kilowatt hour of power is about 17 cents. That's it. In East Texas, it's even lower. It's about 12 cents. So let's say I built a small system and I spent $600 on a two kilowatt hour power station or a DIY battery charge controller setup, and I added 400 watts of solar for $400, including panels and mounts and cables and stuff. Did it as cheaply as I could. If you can use all two kilowatt hours of battery each day and refill it with solar power, it would take eight years to recoup the $1,000 investment. If the cost of power was lower, like East Texas, it would take over 11 years. 11 years. And it doesn't get better as you scale up. Let's say you had an Opus Mega 3 with an expansion battery for just over 5 kilowatt hours of battery power. You had 1,600 watts of solar panels for 1,500 bucks. Assuming you can use and recapture the power in all of your batteries each day, and you bought the Mega 3 and a B2 battery on a massive sale, it would take right at 10 years to recoup the cost at 17 cents per kilowatt hour, and over 14 years at 12 cents per kilowatt hour. Now, when you start adding transfer switches and other equipment, the initial cost goes up, and the length of time to recoup the cost extends. I don't believe that with current solar technology and prices, there's any way to reasonably recoup the cost of building a DIY solar system through energy savings. Maybe if sodium batteries are really cheap, the cost can come down, or maybe the price of power will go up drastically. But right now, if saving money is your only motivation for going with solar, don't do it. So why should you build a solar system? Why buy a portable power station at all? Why buy any of the things you see behind me? Well, it's not for the money. Here are some reasons to go solar. First, backup power. This is the number one reason people build or buy a solar system. When the power goes out, we wanna have options. We wanna keep our cold and frozen things cold and frozen. We wanna charge our devices and keep communication going if we can. Why do solar? We don't want a power outage to be a power crisis. Second, we also want self-reliance. I decide what to power, from where, when, and how long. There's no power company asking me to reduce power during high usage periods. There's no rolling brownouts causing issues. I actually got a notice from my power monitoring system the other day that we had a brownout. The power dropped down to 80 volts from 120 volts. Now luckily it was during the night when a lot of our things were off because 80 volts is not good for electronics. I don't wanna have to worry about that. So why do solar? Because we want some control of our power. Third, we also want renewable energy. It doesn't matter where you fall out on the political spectrum, we could all agree that pollution is bad, and increasing renewable energy can also bring general energy prices down. Supply and demand, all that stuff comes into play here. So more solar energy is good. So why do solar? Because it's beneficial for others. And finally, we do solar because it's fun. It's a hobby that combines tech and gadgets with DIY activity. You get to use your brain and try to figure things out and make them work. And doing solar can involve math, electrical knowledge, construction knowledge, research skills, and more. Not to mention you get a feeling of satisfaction knowing that your system works because you made it work. You planned it. You installed it. So why do solar? It's a fun and challenging hobby. It will take a long, long time to save enough money with solar to cover the cost of install. But there are other reasons to do solar, and I've given you four of them right here. What are some others? What do you think? Is it worth it to build a solar system? Why? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.